welcome to Point of View. I'm Tanya Nugent and it's great to have your company here again on the program. I'd also like to welcome our panellists for today, the lovely Miss Cleopatra Coulter and of course Phil McKellagai. Ladies, thanks for joining us once again today. And our very special guest today, we're delighted to have Mr. Jamie Maxstone Graham joining us to share his personal journey and his passionate crusade to improve the diets of Papua New Guineans. Thanks very much, ladies and gentlemen, for coming in. Well, today our focus is food, glorious food. And we're going to go all healthy and wise later in the program when we find out about a place in our region that has banned junk food and we look at how our diet is crucial to our well-being. So first, I think we just need to get it out of our systems, confess our weaknesses and our dietary bad habits. I'm going to start with you, Cleo. Tell us what your food weaknesses are. I think sweets and coffee, chocolate. Okay. How much coffee would you drink a day? Um, well, I stay up a lot, so that would be like a litre of coffee. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> How do you sleep at night? <laughs> Philly, what are your, so do you put sugar in your coffee as well? Yes, yeah. but not too much, black okay. coffee. Black coffee, so no milk, but sugar. Mm. Oh, that's a lot of sugar, a litre. Yeah. Philly. I love chocolate. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I, I'm a big fan of every kind of chocolate, especially mm. Whitaker's, because that's just delicious. Um, I was told to buy a little bar just to keep, you know, my energy levels up, so I decided to get a whole, um, you know, because I thought that... A little bar is like four squares. Yeah, yeah, but um, it, did it, it served its purpose. <laughs> <laughs> and Jamie? Well, <clears throat> I have a long story to tell. Yeah. <laughs> I, I had food addiction problem, of yeah. course. Yeah. Uh, I couldn't control myself. I ate everything that was nice and without any knowledge that the impact of this process, especially processed food, will have on my health. So, yes, I did have food addiction problem, yeah. especially sugar and alcohol, all this uh, processed food mainly. Yeah. yeah. We'll be um, hearing a little bit more about um, Jamie's story a little bit later on um, in the program. My food weakness, to tell you the truth, is Vegemite on toast late at night. Mm. And bread, of course, doesn't sound like it's um, a bad thing. You know, we automatically mm. think of chocolate and coffee and sugary things, but um, we'll find out also a bit later in the program, you know, why mm. bread is, can be harmful to us. Um, what about foods that give you comfort, you know, like when you're, you know, feeling a bit down and feeling a bit blue and, you know, feeling a bit sick, you know, when you're not well? Yes. What sort of foods do you go to? Well, I go to lamb flaps immediately. <laughs> um, but I also like cow cow with peanut butter. So I oh. put them together. It's actually really delicious. Oh my yeah. goodness. That's a heart attack right, right, <laughs> right there. What about you? Yeah, I think lamb flaps is the famous one. Yeah. Yep, some sausage maybe, yeah. Comfort foods, well, foods that make you feel good. Um, yeah, before, uh, I, without the knowledge and the understanding, the research, um, of course, I had the same problem, you know, like chocolate. But now I reversed my health through change of diet. So now I, I understand, you know, what what's the underlying cause of these food addictions. Mm. You know, we're emotional beings. Humans are emotional beings and we, are, we run on emotions. So when we are stressed or depressed or, mm. you know, they say comfort food, it's just an emotional reaction. So we go and eat something to give us, uh, get the stress out of our system. True. That's what happens really. Yeah. That's the underlying cause. Yeah. Yeah. For me, it's always rice and bully beef. And it always has to be done by my mother. Like yeah, the way your yeah. mum cooks Nobody else can. is, you know, like when you're down or when you're sick, you know, you can try and get somebody else to make your rice and bully beef, but it's just never yeah. ever going to be as good as the way your mum makes it. <laughs> uh, well, thank you very much for sharing your dirty food secrets with us today <laughs> on Point of View. <laughs> um, We've got some inspiring stuff coming up on the program. We're going to take a break now. And when we return, we find out why a province in Vanuatu plans to ban junk food and how the reasons behind it mirror us here in PNG. We'll be back soon. <laughs> 